Hello. In this video, we will be using Work Visual to add a, a new remote I/O to the Kuka robot directly to be used for Gribber as a command to open and close a Gribber or a feedback if it if the Gribber open and close uh, Bart present for any any reason for I/Os. Uh, and so we will be using this buff PNI module. And uh, this module comes with eight boards, uh, and uh, it's M12 board, which the wiring diagram is going to be number one, 20 plus 24. Number two can be used for an input or output. Number three, ground. Number four, another input and output. Number five is another ground. There. So, uh, in go back here. Before we start with this, we need the GSD for that module, for Balaf module. So, to install the GSD file to our work visual, before uh, we make sure there is no any project open in work visual, and then we go to file, import, export, import device description file, next, browse where where the GSD file is saved. Double click next next finish and here we go import import it successful now after we download the gsd file to add the gsd file to our work visual we go open our our project that we need to edit you can upload it from the KUKA RUBA or if you have it saved, you open it. Now, as you see, you don't see the Profinet uh, communication. And that's what we, we're going to be using. That module is a Profinet module. So to be able to see that communication, you have to activate this RUBA as an active controller. To do that, you highlight this, right-click, set as an active controller. And now you see our Profinet network. We open it. We can tell here I have these three modules already on our in my robot. And we're going to be adding a third pull-off module here. So first thing, you go to Profinet, add. Here you see all this hardware that I can add to my Profinet network. This is the one I need now. Double click it. And here you go added the third one here now we need to configure this module after we added it we open that here it asks for IP address you can choose any IP address depends on your network I'm gonna make it match the other modules subnet you change it to your subnet and then the device name is uh, you can change it to whatever name you want it. I'm gonna call it test for now. And the other important thing is user ID. You have the, the this software by itself it assigned uh, unused or next available user ID, but you can uh, change it to whatever number you like as long as it's not used. I leave it five. Now as you see here is not saved. So I go to apply, and now it, it, this is saved. That was the network configuration. Now we have to do also the module configure uh, the module uh, boards configuration. As you see here, it comes by default. It open these nine lines. This is the, the the module in general, and these are the boards. I'm gonna slide this up. To be able to see all these so when you I highlight number one which is the name of the module it shows me here all the boards and it asks me what do I want each board to do or to be so each board is gonna have two lines and that's because as we saw in this picture each board has number two as an input or output number four as an input or, or output so each board has two pins that we can use as an input out. 
here, number pin, board number zero, pin number two, board number zero, no, pin number four, and as the following, all the way from the eight boards from zero to seven. I need, in my case, let me go back here. In my case, I will be using all of them as an input, but board number seven as both of them an output. So from zero to six, pin number two is going to be input, and pin number four is going to be input for these six, six uh, seven boards. Board number seven, pin number two is going to be an output, and pin number four is going to be an output. And you can mix and match as you like. Uh, one board can be output, one pin in the same board can be output, the other pin can be output, input, whatever you want. So let's do that. Here you go. Board number zero, all the way to board number six, I need all of these inputs. Right now I see them input, so I'll, I, I'll like that's what's going to be, but I'm going to open this just to show you. Normally open input, normally close input, diagnostic input, or output. I need it normally open output for all of them, except board number seven, pin number two, I want it output, and board number seven, pin number four, I want it output. And here is the general configuration of the module. So I pull this down again and look here. As I said, uh, this module is very powerful and you can use it for IO link, not just a standard. Uh, IO link, uh, uh, it's like smart IOs. You can get a feedback like a live bit and stuff like that. But we're not going to use that. We're going to be using standard because we're going to be using normal uh, standard uh, photo eyes and grippers and actuator, pneumatic actuator. So since we're going to be using pin number two and pin number four, and we're going to be using pin number two and four as an input and output, we have to come here, open this is standard one, go down a little bit, input pin number two and you see what the second i highlighted this i have these turn orange line here if i want to highlight this this turn orange tells me i can put this one anywhere here so i pull this i put it here because i'm going to be using pin number two as an input in some boards and i'm going to use pin number four as an input in some boards i pull it at the same time, I'm going to use pin number two as an output in my example board number seven. And I'm going to be using pin number four as an output too. So I put it down. So you drag the ones that you're going to be using. If all of the inputs, you don't bring outputs here. If all of it, if all the boards outputs, you don't bring the inputs. So here again, it's not saved. So I go, I'll apply. Now it's saved. And that it to conf uh, as a configure the module. Now, this input and output, we have to tell it where it's going to be in a KUKA uh, input and output. So you click OK here, get rid of it. So now here, you go to the I.O. mapping. If it's not open, you go here. This is the I.O. mapping to open this screen for you. And it has, it, the screen is divided to two. Um, Almost you can see that, like I can see the field bus here and here, but why they, they do it like this? So I can see the actual input and output on KUKA, and I can see the, uh, the input and output in the field bus in the same time if I want to. And, that, and you need to do that whenever you want to map your input and outputs. Mapping the input and output is connecting the inputs and outputs on this in the Brofinit module with the inputs and outputs on the KUKA, giving them, uh, connect them together and, and attach them together. So let's do that. Let's start with the input. I open digital input on the KUKA. It gives me all the inputs that assign to the KUKA. Green here, green means it's used. Gray means it's not used. And now here in the right side of the screen, I click on the module that I need to connect to the uh, I/O and input and output for KUKA. So I, this is it. This is my module. As you see now, in the bottom, the right hand are the inputs and outputs for this module for the for the new Profinet module. 
and the left side again the input and outputs actually is the input only the input because I press the input here so it shows me only the input in the KUKA module <coughs> but uh, here it's going to show me the inputs and outputs in, in the same time here we go the inputs and outputs <coughs> So we need to configure the input, press the input, go find the, the inputs that I need to use at KUKA. So for example, I go down, I see here, oh, this is not used. So I can start from the 70, for example. You can start anywhere as long as it's not used. And uh, in the module side, I need to configure the boards. So to configure that, for uh, here, this this specific module, it shows you these numbers as pin number two, board number zero, pin number two, board number one, and keep going until board number seven. So it shows you all pins that number twos on each board first, and then it's going to show you all pin number four in each board. As an input and now we jump to the output it's going to show you pin number two on every board first as an output and it's going to show you pin number four in every board as an output it shows you all these even though it's, you're not going to be using some of them for example board number seven here pin number two and pin number four as an input i'm not going to use them i'm going to ignore these because i'm going to be using board number seven as an output and the same thing as an output, I'm gonna ignore all these ports except pin number two on seven. I'm gonna I want it as an output and pin number four at seven and want it as an output. So let's do it. So this is the input on KUKA, and for example, when you go to the pin that you see all the inputs and outputs. Uh, when I want to look at the input number two, uh, pin number two, uh, uh, board number zero. I want it to be 70, input number 70 on KUKA program and bend it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to highlight this, and I'm going to highlight the KUKA, and I'm going to say connect in the bottom right here, connect. There you go. I connect pin, let me expand this, pin number 2 for board number 0, I connect it with input number 70 on KUKA. And uh, as you see, when I connect those, it put it in this middle section and I keep going so board number one now I wanted to go 71 connect board number uh, two pin number two board number two 72 you keep going or if you want uh, now you want to like each board you finish with each board first and then you go you can like for example delete this and uh, right here just connect it I connect right as you see pin Board, pin number two and board number zero, I want it 70. And now I want pin number four, board number zero to be 71 first. So in case you want you want to go by board instead by pin, by pin, you can do that. You can mix and match. And as you see, after I connect them together, it shows me these two green, the one I connected, uh, 4.0 and 2.0 shows me green and also input 70 and input 71 are green and you keep doing and using all the inputs that you want to use and connect them with the KUKA robot and for an output now if I click, click in the output one it's going to show me the output for the KUKA robot I go find where is available and since we use 70 in the input I can go look for 70 here as long as it's not used there you go. Yep, it's not used. If I want them to match. And I do the same thing on the appropriate module. So I said I want to use board number seven. I go to the output first. And I said board number seven. Here you go. Pin number two. I want it as an output. Connect. And also board number seven, pin number four. I want it as an output number. 71 connect here we go it shows me those outputs board number seven pin number two and four are output 70 and 71 so now in my program i can go to you uh, if i want to send uh, re uh, this signal 
I can watch them and I can command McGriver to open for example and close by using output 70 and 71 and I can also get a feedback from the gripper at 70 at 71 and see if the gripper did open or close or if there's a bar exist or whatever and uh, whatever and uh, as an input like I said if you you want to use all I'm not going to be assigning all the inputs but that's what you're going to do for all of them you just click on the ones not assigned find an input is not used and just highlight disconnect them keep disconnect them and you will see all the one disconnected here yeah, this one you cannot use it because it's an error. Okay, and that's that's for this. Now, uh, I I need this to be controlling uh, uh, a gripper, so I will make another video after this that teach about the packages, the option and packages, and I will be using gripper spot take. To uh, configure the gripper, uh, because uh, if you uh, if you, there is like you have to go and configure the gripper, that's not it for the grippers. There's another step you have to do to configure the grippers to be able to open them and close them using the pende and use them in the uh, in your program. That's that's it for this video. If you have any question, please. Uh, uh, please uh, leave it down under the, under the video and uh, thank you very much.